organization teaching high school students some elementary finance. We are improving our teaching materials and asking you whether you would join us, devote two hours of your time to help us. What if I ask the same question, but this time I will pay two dollars for you, for your work? Which setup, you, which setup makes you feel better? Why would anyone accept the no money condition rather than the money condition? It seems like a question about two dollars, but it's more a question about social fairness, helping others, versus a paid job. Social plane or a transactional plane. So in the first scenario, or sorry, in the, in the money scenario, your time worth more than two dollars. So you feel underpaid, you feel undervalued, because I gave you this ridiculous salary. In the second case, however, the cause itself worth more than your time. So you're happy to contribute, to spend your time, resource, to help us. You feel valuable, you feel precious. So let me invite you for a small journey about different motivations, how motivation evolved in time. There was 1.0, 2.0, and the one best fitting our times is 3.0. So what is motivation 1.0? This one. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, flight or fight, no motivational gurus or engagement service. They were all eaten up by the lion <laughs> back then. And then came the industrial era, and a lot of repetitive tasks routine tasks for people, and they were, be, they were pretty much motivated by carrots and sticks, external rewards and punishment. But the problem with carrots and sticks, as it turned out for many tasks, is that it kills creativity, it kills internal motivation, it turns the real engagement into some kind of short-term compliance. People are focusing on the consequences rather than on the goals. So it's not good for 21st century jobs where we need creativity, we need conceptual thinking. Uh, managers want, want uh, long-term engagement in their employees. They want intrinsic motivation to deal with real complex tasks. So we need a new framework. And this framework was described in Daniel Pink's book called Drive, where he not only described the framework but also provided a lot of practical examples and tools how to make intrinsic motivation work. What are the components? The three cornerstones are autonomy, mastery, and purpose. So we have the freedom to develop ourselves, to contribute to something bigger than us, to make the world progress. Autonomy, mastery, purpose. Let's take them one by one. Autonomy is to choose what we are working on how we are working on that task. That's very important, even if the goal is fixed, because our manager or the company is fixing it, we have the independence, the freedom to find out the way how to get there. And that motivates people, as well as autonomy in task and time. The more we can choose out of these four T's, the more motivated we feel. So that's autonomy. Next is mastery. Master is to develop ourselves, to learn, to do whatever we do in a better way. The good news is that it makes us up and running. Bad news is we never get to an end state and we have to hard work on the way. But it's not a Sisyphusian type of work. It's great because if the challenges and skills are in great sync during our progress, then we feel good on the way. So, Mastery is really to keep these two things in sync. And maybe the most important one is purpose. So it creates real emotional attachment to the task we are working on. It creates that engagement people and their managers and companies and groups are looking for. Purpose is usually or can be bigger than us. So volunteering, pro bono work, non profit organizations are all good examples when people are working for some purpose, giving their time, and work for basically free. So I am not working for this financial education program because I want to get rich, but 
because I want autonomy in developing and implementing the materials, because I want to master my skills in teaching, and because I believe that financial literacy is something which brings the world forward. So these are my motivation 3.0s. And if you don't have your own in your work, I call you to start thinking about it today, because it's important. Thank you very much.